It's week eight of the National Football League, and we'll be watching the dynamic Tyreek Hill. Closing in on 1,000 yards receiving on the year. It's the Dolphins and the Lions, and it's coming up next. First open and two. closer toward the midway point of this NFL season and we're underway on EA Sports and they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25 Detroit gets set to go on offense and it will be the seventh year pro out of Cal Jared Goff leading the attack in his second season as a Lion and there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building potential they're sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. Opening play, and Goff wants to pass it. And his first look is incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. The first carry now. This is Williams. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. From the gun, here's Goff. And that is incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And here comes the Miami offense now, and it's the Southpaw in his third season at the wheel for the Fens. Quarterback to a tongue of Iloa. What a first half of the season he's had, leading the NFL in passing yards to this point. He's been a tough man to slow down. So this defense certainly has its work cut out for him. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and ten at their own 37. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. First down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there. And he just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. That's caught Waddle on the left side. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Two and now on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Second and ten now from the 27. Tua sets up to pass it. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill with a lucky 
rookie number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. Get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. This defense for the Dolphins, they were excellent a week ago in the win over Pittsburgh. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. Give them a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front, so when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out, because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. Here's Hill on the return. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And they will take over first and 10. Jalen Waddle, the speedster wide receiver, brings out this offense. That's really been a blistering start to the season for him so far. He's on pace to blow past 1,000 yards. The good receivers, it's interesting, though. You put extra coverage on them. They probably view that as a challenge. All right, I'm going to go after this. You put one guy on them, then they feel disrespected. And they want it to, so how do you, how do you cover it? You're exactly right. That's an insult, right, especially the year that he's having. But I just have to go ahead and not, I'm not going to insult him. I'm going to respect him. I'm sending as many people as possible. But one of the reasons he's having this type of a start is despite that type of coverage, he finds a way to what we call uncover late. Ball's thrown, even though there's coverage there, he's the one who can go up and come down with it, finds a way to get to the football. And the offensive line has given them time in the pocket to have that uncovering late. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Two and now on first down. Gets this one to Hill. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Now a first carry here for Robinson. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Robinson now on first down. A tough run, but not a huge gain. Dropped at the 25. Taken down on the play by Aiden Hutchinson. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. 
but that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. A quick throw complete out to Beckham. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. In motion, the tight end. On third down, Robinson. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Don't forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. On first down, Tonga Bailoa throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. And he is out of bounds here. That play gets him six yards and six the that play first and goal. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. That doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. In motion left, the tight end. Robinson will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point by Barr, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Lions nothing. Brett Maher is set to kick off. Following the touchdown, here's Maher to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They begin the drive with Williams. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The numbers on the ground for Williams a week ago. 11 carries, 63 yards. Well, to no one's surprised, he gets an early rep right there, and they've been playing their best ball of the season as they've built this winning streak. And that includes the ground game, where he's kept the offense productive and put them in position to win ball games. The question now is, can this defense that he's facing do what others haven't and finally put a stop to this streak? After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Goff now to throw. He's got it to Williams. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and one. 
Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Goff wants to throw on third and one. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. It's Xavier Howard who brings him down from his corner position. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And what a great call defensively there because they decided to bring pressure off the corner. And a lot of times, those big linemen, they can't account for the speed of a defensive back. And that time, he made a beeline right for the quarterback and got him. The cat blitz, tough to defend. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And the Dolphins are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. The offense running out, and we shine the spotlight on the undrafted revelation, James Robinson. Last week, Showing up over 100, also two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Damn. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Tyreek Hill's got another one. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Robinson will try to pick it up. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 
The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. And they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Throw left side complete. That's Hill. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Tua. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. That'll give him eight that time. And that's going to make it fourth down. Now Tua going to try and sneak it. And he will have the Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. On the counter, this is Robinson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps him advancing the ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now this time, two is going to throw it. Open man is Waddle complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Odell Beckham with career touchdown number 60. And the Dolphins take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. From the 30 on second down, gone. It's Williams on the catch. McGough and Williams hooking up there for a Lions first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. 21 nothing. our score after one. 
Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. As they've got it with a second and ten. Play action. It's gone. He's got a man. That's caught. Left sideline. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And down to the 41. You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. From the 41, golf. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They have pressure coming, and they got it once again. Brian Burns able to record his fifth sack of the season. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Now Tua, that's going to be caught by Waddle. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Another catch there for Waddle. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Two are going to run the sneak. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. Prior to that, they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ballgame. Now three for three. And you've got to figure their luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to him right now. Robinson up the middle. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. On second and nine, Tua. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. 
Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. And here's first and 10, right at the 40. Looking to pass to him. Over the middle to back him. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now they send the tight end in motion left. Ready, ready. Ready. They'll try and run. This is Robinson. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. James Robinson with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, you talk about a team coming into an opposing stadium and just taking the life right out of a crowd. That's what we're witnessing here. 27 nothing, Charles. In this defense, they've just looked completely unprepared for what's been thrown at them. And you know they're supposed to adjust series to series. That has not happened for them. So I don't think halftime adjustments are going to help a heck of a lot. They are in major trouble unless they figure out something really fast. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Some more great football coming your way in prime time to wrap up the month of October. It starts tonight. Could it be a Super Bowl preview? The Packers and Bills from Buffalo at 820 Eastern. And then tomorrow, Halloween night, Monday night football, the Bengals and Browns from Cleveland. And how this game has changed in importance in recent years. That starts at 815 Eastern. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. That's good for the Lions. Again, it's Williams. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now gone. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like the Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Emmanuel Agba that time able to drop him for a loss. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Throwing on second and long. Golf. 
throw. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. traffic somewhere they've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield here we go here we the go. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football it seems to turn to gold they've scored on three straight possessions that lead continues to grow and I mean if they can get points here Charles might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing this blowout is going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. to the short side and he will slide to a stop he does have the first down it's a pickup of 16 there and it'll lead to a new set of downs I tell you there is no antidote for speed even at the quarterback position as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage and it still takes time for a defender to react even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL they're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. play action. Tongue of Iloa. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time, they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. They complete it to Hill. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On third and long, it's Tugga by Loa. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup the score, right? I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it down field, punch in the end zone without turning it over. 
They run out of the gun with Swift. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offense. He's got a man complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. When you think of guys that are built to be big arm quarterbacks, Jared Goff, he fits that mold, and he showed it off right there. And to be honest, this first half hasn't been anything they'd be really proud about. So they needed something like this to change their fortunes. Now they need to make sure they finish this one off, not just with points, but with a touchdown. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second and 12, Goff. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. There's gone. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Something on a positive side if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first-half scores just like this one. To throw once more on second and 10. Goff got a man, and he hits him in stride. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. To throw is gone. And he'll just get rid of it. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they throw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. They're going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The offense running out, and we shine the spotlight on the undrafted revelation, James Robinson. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable, and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards you've really done some damage in an NFL game and now he's looking just to add to his totals setting to throw on first down is Tua and an incomplete pass that'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play and have enough one Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. On second and ten, Tua. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this one is incomplete. A very limited time left to get in the field goal range before the half, and they tried to get it all on one throw right there. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And again, it's Tonga Bailoa quickly into the hands of Beckham. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Amazing, perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And from here, might not be able to take a knee. Might need to run a play here this close to their goal line. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, good work in that first half. More from you guys in a minute. But first, let's get to some scores right here on the day before Halloween. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And at the half, 13-10 is the score. A touchdown pass there for Zach Wilson. We'll stay in the NFC East as we head down to the great state of Texas to check on the Cowboys at home at AT&T Stadium. And they've got the lead over the visiting Chicago Bears. Big Zeke, Ezekiel Elliott, two touchdown runs. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Carolina Panthers. Marcus Mariota, two touchdown passes thus far. With that, let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Miami. And it's been the passing game that's been the story. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of 200-plus yards already through two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. This fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to 